Before I begin this video, I just got to give you a warning. I have allergies. I'm sniffling. I'm coughing. I'm sneezing. If you don't like any of these noises, like they're going to trigger misophonia or something, please don't watch this video. Okay. Huh? What's this? Whoa. Now that's awesome. Hey guys, it's AJ Lucky 13 Studios here with a brand new video for you. I am in Cleveland, Ohio for spring break for the week. I'm in my boyfriend's apartment. He hasn't been here in about a year and a half because he met me last year. He's been staying with me or I've been traveling to see him in a separate kind of apartment he was living in for school. Long story, but he hasn't been here in a while. We're just here to make sure everything is all right and just kind of hang out and see what Cleveland's all about. On my way to Cleveland, I basically begged my boyfriend to stop in Columbus because I knew there was an American Girl store there. And he is very supportive of my collection, y'all. He's very, very supportive of me having a hobby that is creative and keeps me very happy. So he let us stop in the store and I am so, so excited to share with you everything that I got in this haul video. Okay, we're gonna start with small items because I wanna share my big things for last. First of all, me and Bailey got to get lots of awesome pictures. So if you haven't had a chance to, Go ahead and go to my AGIG account at agelucky 13 studios and see the pictures that we took in the store featuring her in this super cute Love Shack Fancy dress. You probably saw me open the Love Shack Fancy collection in another video before this, but if not, that'll be coming soon. I ordered some stuff from the Love Shack Fancy collection from American Girl and I love it. So the first thing that I got from the store was this ballet set and it's called the On Your Toes Ballet Outfit and this is something I've wanted for a while. I love ballet sets so much. I wanna collect all of them, but I thought this one was especially cute because of the little lacy details on the leotard. And I've already opened all of these and tried them on dolls before, but we will just pretend they have. All right, so here's the outfit. It's got this cute little wrap, not wrap, excuse me, fake wrap skirt. It's got a little bow and layers of fabric, but it's really cute because you can wear the little ribbon in the middle or off to the side to create a whole different look. It came with these white tights, the black leotard, which is made out of that same stretchy material that they made Josh's swimsuit out of. And it's got the lacy details, like little scallops on the sides of the sleeves. And it's also really like dipped down in the back. So it's very open backed. Here are the little um, leg warmers and the teeny tiny ballet slippers. I love teeny tiny things, little tiny shoes. So these were so cute and dainty. Little ballet slippers, very pink. They're flimsy, like this is very, very flimsy. That was the On Your Toes ballet outfit. And it came with this little pamphlet inside that says what's your dance style and it's a quiz you can take to see whether ballet or lyrical dance is more your style. And then the back just has a picture of the ballet outfit and the lyrical outfit. The next thing that I got was this Truly Me World Traveler outfit for Peru. And I was very excited to get this outfit because I've looked at it online a long time. I've seen it on dolls on AGIG and I decided that it was gonna be a really cute addition for my collection. So here's the dress. It's this really pretty turquoise color with the kind of bell sleeves, I think is what that's called. It's got real embroidery right here on the front, the little flowers, the strings at the top with tassels on them that are pink, and then it's got stripes of ribbon trimmed all around the bottom in blue, yellow, and orange. Eh, that's not orange, pink. You put it on with Velcro in the back, and it looks so, so cute on. I had it on Bailey just to see it on a doll, but I wanted to be able to show it to you in the box. It also comes with this super cute hat. It's brown with a pink ribbon trim around it and a pink and yellow pom-pom. And it just goes on the doll's head real cutely like this. Just pats on there. It's actually a little bit big for Bailey's head, we had discovered. So if I'm not careful, it falls down onto her eyes. Sorry, I just gave her hat hair. It also came with doll socks. I love socks. Any outfit that I can get doll socks with, I'll probably buy. They're little pretty ones with colors all over it with the pink heel and toe. So cute. And then it also came with these black booties, little ankle boots that have pink pom-poms on them. And these are plastic on the bottom and fabric-y kind of fake leather on the top. This outfit also comes with a little pamphlet talking about the rest of the World Traveler's uh, collection. I have Peru and Ireland now. 
I almost got this one, the Paris one, but I decided against it. Then you open the pamphlet and it's got a picture of the outfit that says Bienvenidas a Peru, welcome to Peru. And it's got all kinds of information about places you can see in Peru, uh, things you can eat, and directions for making a little um, passport for your doll. Very cute. Something I noticed about this dress, it is very, very short, very, very short. And it sticks out a little bit so you can see the doll's underwear if you're not careful. So I also got Courtney's pajamas the little Care Bear pajamas because they're so, so cute. I've had my eye on these since Courtney was released with her first collection. I have a kind of hidden obsession with the Care Bears. I've always really, really liked Care Bears since I was a kid, but more as an adult, I've really been appreciating them more. This is the nightgown. It's made out of this fleecy material. You got light blue sleeves and a collar. And then the rest of the nightgown is a darker blue. And we've got the Care Bears on the front of it. And it says Care Bears in the corner. It goes on the doll with Velcro in the back. Um, it comes with these little fuzzy blue socks, which is cool. I also have the same ones. And matching fleece scrunchie. Whoops, I dropped it. For your doll's hair. And then she, hers came with this little pamphlet of Courtney's um, sleepover set and her pajamas. And it's got more information about Courtney's story and what she does, I guess, in her story. I haven't read her book yet, but I'm going to. And there's a picture of just Courtney with her outfit and her collection. Very cool. I hope to get the rest of her collection someday very soon. All right, next thing I got, and this is the last small thing before I unveil the big thing, is Courtney's little sneakers. And they're called Courtney's High Top Sneakers. They look like this. They're white with pink laces. And they're super, super cute, y'all. The bottoms, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you the bottom. So here are the shoes. They look just like actual high top shoes. And the bottoms are really good quality rug rubber or plastic, I guess, yeah, rubber. I could not believe the details on these shoes, y'all. And they open up right here with the Velcro flaps. You can open those up and move the tongue to slip your doll's foot inside. That took a little bit of extra uh, muscle but I did get them on and they look so, so cute on. The next thing I got was a doll hairbrush because I needed one. Couldn't find the one I needed on the way when I was grabbing Bailey last minute. <laughs> so I just bought a new one, I needed one anyway. All right, now for the big things that I got. First of all, the first doll that I bought is Truly Me number 80. She is so, so pretty. She's been on my list for such a long time but she kept getting pushed further down the list as newer dolls came out that captured my attention or dolls were retiring that I wanted. So that moved them up the list a little bit more. But I'm so, so excited to have the Queen Truly Me 80 in my collection. She's in the meet outfit with the star dress and the purple jacket and the pink sparkly shoes, which is cool by me because I'm trying to collect a Just Like You doll or a Truly Me doll in every single meet outfit ever made. So this helps with that. And I have not decided her full name yet, but I think her name is going to be Delilah. She just looks like a Delilah to me. And she's so beautiful. She's got kind of textured, long, dark hair. It waves right here, which I really like. Gorgeous dark brown eyes, gorgeous dark skin, and a Josefina mold. I love the dark Josefina mold so much. And she's just really, really pretty. I haven't decided her personality yet either. So if you could help me out with that in the comments, help me name her and help me come up with her personality. Like I said, I think her name is going to be Delilah. She is so, so cute and I'm so excited to have her. So I already shared that I got Delilah with um, Instagram, but AGIG does not know that I got a second doll while I was there. And it's gonna be a bit of a shock because I went and put a poll up to say help me choose which doll to get so i went off of that list it was just one of those moments where i saw her and i brought home courtney 1986. i was just looking at her in the case looking at her hair looking at her face small looking at her collection and i knew it was it had to be her today so here's courtney the new historical doll she has on a very cute 80s outfit this blue crop top that says totally cool on it 
This uh, shirt is a purple tank top. Her denim wa acid wash skirt with real pockets, pink tights, and her white ankle booties. She also has her hair up in a side pony at the top of her head like this, very 80s, with her pink scrunchie. Her eyes are beautiful shade of blue, and she has the classic mold and curly medium length hair. So, so pretty. Her curls are giving me a hard time though because some of them got messed up in the hairnet when I pulled it off in the car. So I'm having to kind of fix them as I go. But I am so, so excited to have Courtney. Has anyone else ever had one of those moments when they were in the AG store? Like you went in with the idea of getting something and then you left with something else. I know that happens to me in Target all the time. And my boyfriend was super, super generous. He surprised me by buying half of my items for me. So I bought half and he bought half. So I was able to get more than I wanted. So, so sweet. So overall, my first experience in an AG store was awesome. I'm so glad that I went. I'm so glad that I was able to get the things that I wanted. And I'm so glad that my boyfriend went with me because he had a, an interesting time as well playing with the pinball machine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and leave a sweet comment below. And don't forget to include in your comment what I should name Delilah's full name and what personality she should have. I'm also thinking about renaming Courtney. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye now.